Right. <clears throat> so for a change, I've got everything together. I'm just giving the piston a final wipe down with a clean cloth. Again, we don't want any grit in this at all. With the piston, I don't know if you can pick that up, there's an arrow that points to the exhaust. <clears throat> it's easier with a P200 because of the that's always on the top, the one port that does actually work. So I've got my gudging pin, I'm just going to give that a clean up. Like so. Clean inside the gudging pin as well. It's surprising how dirty they do get inside. That's nice and clean. <clears throat> so that's our downside as we're looking at it. So I'm going to start the gudging pin in this way. So from the kickstart side and uh, just slightly bring it in. Can you see that? I'm trying to give you a sideward view to that. That's the gudging pin, see it coming in? You just want it just slightly in and then what we need to do now is get our small end bearing and I'm just going to put some two stroke oil in this lid that will do I've got some two stroke oil I'm going to give this again this was new when the uh, scooter was restored or the engine was rebuilt I should say so it should be nice and clean and what we want is our crankshaft out and then what I'm going to do is put some oil inside and outside on this bearing and stick it inside the crankshaft I mean bear in mind I've already wiped this crankshaft with the piston this one here is going to be a captive ring so I'm going to stick that in with a pair of pliers. I'll show you how these go in. They are a bit they are a bit fiddly, but they do go in. And, and again, it's another thing that's easier when on the bike or in the engine. I've just gone a bit too far with that one. Right, that's in. And the arrows that way round, so I want my pin at the bottom pointing up. Right, so the gudging pin is in and pointing up. Uh, sorry, the circlip. My gudging pin is oiled. Put a bit of grease on the inside, uh, or two stroke oil, I should say. And then what we need to do is just lift up the crankshaft, put our piston in line it up and push just ever so on this gudgeon pin and it should push all the way in there are special tools to push that all the way in I just find that again use what you've got you know socket set will do fine and we've got play there and if I can now show you how I get the circlip in so you just push the open end in while rotating the circlip and pushing it in that's actually in but I like to have them so I'll have to rotate that in a circle. I like to have the pin pointing upwards 
you don't have to again it's just me again and that is our piston in so use the kickstarter to bring it all the way back that's fine now we need to put on our base gasket <clears throat> so I'll go back to my so um, gasket set and take out this base gasket and if you look it's got a hole in it they correspond to it'll be that way as we look at it because it the top um, pull is offset so again just to save face uh, I need that oil for the moment just to save face I'm going to put some gasket sealant on the gasket the base gasket on both sides I'll spread it all out It's easier to do one side than the other obviously because this side I can just lay flat and do it because again what we don't want is any air leaking into the engine right so if we look on this again we need to put this in place over our studs like so once it's over the threads it should just slide this one's uh, pain in the backside for some reason I have to give them threads a wipe as well so what I'm going to do is just give my hands a wipe because I want the piston to go through that without getting too dirty wipe the piston anyway right. push that all the way home like so that's all the way down seal it against it that's fine now I just need to give the piston a wipe over and I've got the sealant on it Then what I'm going to do is just put a bit of two-stroke um, oil on the piston or even on the barrel. It's up to you. And bring our piston back again. That's fine. I just need the rings so they're in line. cylinder now clean up the base of the cylinder all the ports are clean base is clean heads clean bores clean right What I need to do now is just slide when I've put some oil in. It's kind of awkward, but what I'm doing now is I'm getting this two stroke oil and just putting it inside the barrel. Hope you can see that. And then sliding 
the barrel on to the studs until we get to the piston. Like so. Now I need to just pull, push in the piston rings. Um, my Lambretta screwdriver is perfect for this. So I'll get this side in line and then all I've got to do is push that closed while sliding that on. That's number one on, or near enough on. And push it to the second ring. Piston needs to come out a bit more. Right, so that one's in. And just bring it off so you can find where the second stud is there. And then all we've got to do then again is pinch that one in. Again, it's probably easier to turn the engine. So it's just in past the second ring and this can slide all the way on now, like so. Just support it going into the casing. You can run that all the way home. And all I want to do again if I haven't knocked over everything, which I probably have noticed is there. I just want to put some two-stroke in the bore. Like so. And then I'm just holding the, the barrel and I'm just going to send it up and down a few times, which is doing great. And again... Well, that's our barrel on this is quite handy now because when we get to top dead center it's a bit harder to turn over now but on its way down up I've just gone past top, top dead center I can put a nut on there and turn it anyway but this is how we time the engine and the stator plate. I've got new screws for the stator plate. And that's going to be the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.